Hey guys, Scott McConnell here for Distance CME, and hey, welcome to another Tips and Tricks with Scott. So, have a couple of good ones today for you. By the way, um, if you'd like to share some, uh, you know, tips and tricks, you'd like me to read them online, uh, please send them to me. Info i n f o at distancecme.com. Be glad to do it. All right, so a couple of good ones. Now, I've been in EMS since about 1990, and um. It's definitely taken me a little while to kind of figure out a couple of things, so I thought I'd share a couple of them with you. Um, the first one, professionalism. You know, I see a lot of conversations on Facebook and, and Reddit and Twitter and other places, you know, that, uh, you know, oh, the burger flippers are making $15 an hour and I'm only making whatever, whatever. Well, you can't really compare apples and oranges. OK, um, one job, one job, other job, the other job. But when we talk about professionalism, if you look professional, you act professional, you'll be professional. And it's that professionalism that's going to move EMS forward. OK, that and of course, a couple of other things. The next thing, read. Just because school is over does not mean your education is over. You must continue your education. Medicine changes on a daily basis, on a daily basis. Now, I've had people say to me, well, but my protocols don't change. Okay, well, protocols are protocols. It doesn't mean you can't know more than the protocols. You know, that's actually one of the reasons I really like teaching uh, at Distance CME. Uh, our lectures can, can pretty much change and adapt lecture to lecture. I can add the latest and greatest. You know, um, I posted a, a video on our Facebook page that talked about that expanding foam for gunshot wounds to the abdominal cavity. Well, we were actually talking about that months ago. And then somebody posted a video about it, you know. So we get to talk about the latest and greatest quickly. All right? And uh, finally, uh, be kind, be compassionate, be empathetic. You know, that's something that occasionally is missed in EMS. We have this kind of, you know, mindset of being, um, you know, militaristic. You know, pre-hospital care is, is we kind of base it off the military or off, you know, the police, that, you know, that kind of thing, you know, where we have lieutenants and all the rest of that. You know, this is healthcare. We should be kind, compassionate, empathetic, and caring to our patients. Not only to our patients, to each other. You know, I see a lot of conversations on social media where, man, we are just downright rude to each other. Absolutely rude. And you know, that doesn't get us anywhere. So try something different. Hey, 2016 is right around the corner. Never be afraid of change. And, and finally, well, very last thing, I'd like to say uh, I just saw The Force Awakens and uh, the staff here at Distance CME, of course, uh, always like to make fun of me for my unhealthy obsession with science fiction movies. And uh, I just want to say, as, my, as the sign-off uh, for, of course, Tips and Tricks with Scott 2015, may the Force be with you. <laughs>